So there's this company called Pixar. I don't know if you've ever heard of them because they're kind of a little indie studio that produces some really underappreciated gems. Psych! Everybody knows Pixar, and I'm pretty sure that at this point, practically everybody loves them. I mean, it's a little hard to hate a studio that keeps cutting all these goddamn onions everywhere. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm a 24 year old man and I can't remember the last time I watched a Pixar movie and didn't tear up at least twice throughout the course of these wonderfully animated spectacles. And that brings me to Onward and the brother loving relatability fest that was this movie. But what makes this movie such a fun little adventure? What makes the characters feel so relatable? What makes Onward so good? Well, I'll just come right out and say it up front. If you have a brother, little or big, and you have an at least somewhat positive relationship with them, this movie will make you feel. It will make you feel so hard that you will probably be uncomfortable. And you know what? That is okay, because the best movies, stories, games, and content in general should make us feel. Feelings make us human. They allow us to empathize with one another. And the stories that can genuinely make us feel, well, those are special indeed. Oftentimes, these movies have pretty tight plot lines, and Onward is just one of those movies that, well, it's just tight. In fact, this movie might actually be a little too tight. You see, Pixar movies have a pretty solid reputation for being a really tight in the storytelling department. What does this mean? Well, it means that the stories being told on screen usually don't have too many plot holes. The elements, characters, and assets introduced in the story more often than not wind up being used in some way to move the plot along in a believable and effective manner. This quote-unquote tightness is largely due to the expert use of the principle Hollywood and filmmakers in general often refer to as Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's gun is essentially a principle that explains to any prospective filmmaker or storyteller that anytime anything of note is displayed to your audience, then by the climax of a scene or story, that thing of note should be used. Essentially, if you introduce something to your audience, you should use it to tell your story because if it isn't important, well, then why bring it up in the first place? And that brings us back to Onward, and the literal hundreds of Chekhov's guns, so to speak, that can be found throughout this story. Every single little tiny thing that happens in this story, from the seemingly insignificant dialogue to random events that would seem to exist just for a momentary laugh, are all fundamentally important to the overarching plot and character arcs of each and every one of the characters of note. For example, one of the main characters, Barley Lightfoot, played wonderfully by Chris Pratt, mentions near the beginning of the movie, very nonchalantly, that he used to tap on his dad's shoes like he was playing a drum because he thought it was fun. A detail like this could have very easily served as dialogue that was just meant to characterize. But instead of just serving this one purpose, later on in the story when the brothers summon their father but only have enough magic juice to summon the lower half of him, this toe-tapping tendency winds up being the only way they can communicate with their father and let them know they are still with him. A character gets shrunken by magic? Don't worry, that'll come in handy later. A rule is set up pertaining to a particular magic spell? Don't worry, that rule will be utilized to set character arcs into motion. I don't want to give away specifics on account of me not wanting to spoil this movie for those of you who haven't seen it yet, but god damn! Seriously, every single tiny little story asset that gets introduced is used to progress the story and develop the characters. And as a creative writer who aspires to one day tell my own stories through the medium of animation, well, I was really, really impressed. And frankly, a little jealous. I mean, Pixar has gotten their story structures so far down and packed that it honestly seems like they don't even need to try anymore. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm sure writing this story was really hard work, but they just make it look so damn easy. This is professional storytelling at its finest, and it honestly got to the point where towards the end of this film, I as the viewer was actually getting pretty sick of how goddamn cohesive the story and each of its elements were. Like, Jesus, okay, I get it, it was a good story, just let me wallow in my unfinished short stories for just a little longer without being depressed, okay? 
All jokes aside, this movie was fantastic, and as someone with four brothers and a close relationship to my own father, it was a touching depiction of the real-life relationships and experiences I've had in my own life. If you like Pixar, animated movies, or shows that emphasize that brotherhood bond, well, you should watch Onward, because it was so damn good.